Eagle has landed. Hey guys, how you doing? And welcome to another episode of Arnold Space Station. In today's episode, I'm gonna go ahead and show you a bit more around Salesforce's automation piece called Process Builder and how you can use that to trigger an email uh, to be sent out from an opportunity based on a stage. So a lot of our customers tell us that they spend a lot of time drafting and sending emails. Now, Salesforce uh, provides you with merge tags and email templates uh, that will certainly speed up the process. However, if you do have a business process in place, that means at a certain stage in the deal, you need to go ahead and send um, any kind of email, whether that's a follow-up, an introduction, uh, you can go ahead and do so uh, using Salesforce. So we're gonna go ahead and build a piece of automation uh, using Process Builder. Uh, we're gonna create an email template uh, and this can be both HTML or just a simple text uh, template. And we're gonna create a piece of automation that'll send it out every time the stage is changed to closed one. For the purpose of this video, we're gonna go ahead and use the opportunity object. Now the scenario is when someone moves the stage for an opportunity to closed one, we'd like to go ahead and send out an email to any related contacts to that opportunity. And then we'd also like to tag the opportunity to ensure we know that an email has in fact been sent out. So in order for us to do this, we're going to need to create two things. The first thing we need to create is a checkbox to identify that a welcome email has in fact been sent out. So in order for us to do that, I'm gonna to navigate to setup. In setup, I'm going to go to object manager. I am then going to look for the opportunity object. And we're gonna go ahead and create a checkbox field called welcome email sent. So because this is a field that doesn't have any particular data, it's just a yes or no field, I'm gonna use a checkbox. I'm going to call this welcome email sent. We're going to leave this unchecked. We're then gonna go ahead and give this field a description. So we're gonna say used to identify if an email has been sent to related contacts. Related contacts to the opportunity are called contact roles. And then I'm gonna hit next. I'm gonna make this visible to everyone at this point as part of this exercise. You can certainly make it visible to certain profiles and not visible to others. I'm also gonna make sure that it is on every single page layout to help the process. Um, you can certainly restrict it based on the page layout as well if you like. Awesome. So we've completed the first step. We've created a field as an identifier of when the email was sent. Now, the next thing we need to do is we need to actually go ahead and create uh, an email block or email content uh, that's going to be sent out to the related contacts. So in order for us to do that, I am going to go ahead and type an email and I'm going to select classic email templates. And I've gone ahead and actually created one already. It's just some simple text um, with um, HTML added to it. Um, so you can go ahead and ask your web team um, or perhaps anyone that knows HTML um, to go ahead and create an email template for you. So we've gone ahead and done that already. So we're gonna use this one called welcome email. The next thing that we need to do is we need to create an email alert. So I'm going to type in alert. And what you guys would have possibly noticed once we go in, there is an email alert that I've already created. But what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna create a new one for you guys. 
So I'm going to say uh, use to send a welcome email on closed one ops. I'm then going to select the, oops, that was a bit of a typo. I'm then going to go ahead and select the object and we're going to go for the opportunity object. Uh, we're going to go ahead and select the email template, which is the one that's been created by our web team. And under the recipient type, I'm going to select related contact. And if I select related contact in here, what's going to end up happening is anyone that is associated to the opportunity in the contact role section can go ahead and receive this particular email. Um, if you do need anyone else internally to be notified, you can certainly add those in here um, as additional emails. Uh, you can add up to five, as you can see. And then you can choose the from email as part of this email alert as to where this email is going to come from or where it's going to show the customer that it has come from. Uh, in this case, I think uh, because it's an opportunity or it's a deal, uh, it's valuable that it goes out from the person that owns the opportunity. So in this case, it'll be the current user, um, their email address. I'm gonna go ahead and click save. Once I do that, you'll notice that the email alert has in fact been created. It's called use to send a welcome email um, to closed one ops. So I'm just gonna copy that description over as well. Actually going to copy the unique name to make it easier. Great. So we've got our two components. Uh, we've got the email content and we've created the email alert um, that'll essentially get, that'll fire off that email content. Um, we have got an identifier that we've set up to make sure that we know the email has in fact uh, been sent or no. The last thing that we need to do is we need to use some automation to be able to trigger both of these aspects or both of these actions to run from the opportunity. So I'm going to go to process builder again uh, under the process automation section. And we're going to go ahead and create a brand new process builder. Now there is one in here already. Um, so what I'm going to do is I am going to use the exact same one in this instance. Uh, so you guys get an idea of what needs to happen. So I'm going to clone this. I'm going to keep the existing actions that are there and I'm going to go ahead and add to them. So I'm going to double check things as well to make sure that I put everything in the right order. Uh, otherwise, we might have certain things that might not work as expected. So the opportunity is going to fire off when it is edited which is great. In here, we are looking to make sure that the opportunity stage name goes to closed one and the stage name has in fact been changed, which is very important. Otherwise, if uh, the opportunity is closed and someone's still making updates like, um, you know, updating certain fields, details, so on and so forth after the deal is done, um, that might re-trigger any of the emails that need to go out or any other actions. So that's great. And of course we have a update to the account that happens when it is closed one, which is awesome. So I'm gonna go ahead and add our two actions now. The first action relates to the first thing we created, which is we're going to update records. And I'm going to say update op to show welcome email sent. And in here, I'm going to select the opportunity that started the process and we're going to look for that welcome email sent field. And we're going to make sure that it is ticked, which means it is set to true. Great, so that's the first action um, that we have to set up. The second action that we have to set up is actually sending the email. So in order for us to do that, under the action type, we go ahead and select email alerts. Um, and in this case, I'm going to name it as send welcome email. And I am going to copy the unique value that I had from the alert and select that one. Beautiful. Once I've gone ahead and saved that 
email alert action that also happens, I'm going to reactivate this particular process builder. And once that's done, we should be ready to go. So I'm gonna to navigate to the front end of Salesforce. I'm going to go to the opportunities tab. And I have in fact created a test opportunity uh, called test field update process builder. Uh, and I'm gonna go into that one and I can see right now that the stage is set to negotiation review, the welcome email sent checkbox is unticked. And if I scroll down, there is in fact a contact related to this opportunity. Best practice, always ensure at least one contact role is set up per opportunity. Uh, that way you know who you're dealing with in that organization. Uh, but it also means any automation that's being set up. If there is no contact role, that is certainly going to cause a bit of an issue with Process Builder because it's not going to know where to send that email. Beautiful. So if I hover over Betty, I can certainly see uh, that an email address has been put in. I'll just put in my um, work email address. And now I'm gonna update the status to closed. And when it gives me the pop-up, I am going to select closed one, and I'm going to click save. Beautiful. So as soon as that went to closed one, you noticed that the welcome email has in fact been updated. Now, what we're gonna go ahead and have a look at uh, is whether that email has in fact been sent out. So as you guys can see, it has in fact been sent out. Uh, it has an attachment as well that I uh, chose to attach as part of that email content, which has also come through. Um, it has gone ahead and certainly sent it to me and it's also sent it to the other additional email address that I had put in. Beautiful. I'm glad you guys had some fun and I hope you guys learned something out of this particular episode. Take care and stay safe. Hey guys, please don't forget to like, comment or subscribe to the channel if you like it. Uh, also, please don't forget to go ahead and share this with uh, anyone that you think might benefit from it, especially all those brand new up and coming Salesforce gurus. And as always, you can find some more episodes right here.